Wayne World YouTuber Victoria McLean and I am here at the Harry Potter store in New York. I finally got here. I actually got here. Ah! This shop is outstanding. I can't wait to show you what's here. I can't wait to show you what's exclusive. So come shopping with me today as I have a look around the New York Harry Potter shop. <laughs> I, if you get a chance, ride the elevators because you get to go traveling through flu with flu powder. Look at this. I love the green. Wow, this is so cool. I don't know, Martin Air One? I don't know. <laughs> when we go out. God, it's so warm in here. It's not that bad. Quick, air conditioning, turn it on. What's the spell for air conditioning? Uh, oh, we're, oh my God, look at the basilisk. <gasps> look at that, we are in the ministry. Monica's demonstrating how lovely the snake's head, well, their ass looks this morning. <laughs> head ass, can't even say. We got, look at these mirrors, aren't they so cool? Look at this. Hang on, man, I'll be there now. Look. I bought that last year, I think. Did I buy that last year? I know they had them last year. Deathly Hallows. Oh, look, we have Marvolo Gaunt's ring. Hold on, honey. Again, another real, genuine replica. And we have Christmas no, it's deck. It's not a replica, it's authentic prop. Sorry, a prop. Mon, thank you very much for pointing that out. We have some gorgeous Christmas decorations down here. They are stunning to say the least. Look how big this basilisk is coming through the wall. Look at that. And I bet that is an MDF like it is in the, in the act that they actually use on the set. Can't get my words out now. I'm all tongue tied coming down here. Wow. Yeah, um, Oh yeah, that's a lounge fly bag as well, that one. <gasps> How do you know that? Hello. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh bless you, hello Chris, how are you darling? How are you? I'm very good. Playing in different countries, you still go. <laughs> oh bless him, that was so sweet. He was really sweet. So you got some uh, Real official props, authentic props here. Oh, sorry, yeah. Of course, my God, yeah. Thank you. No, of course. Thank you so much. Have a lovely trip. Harry Potter, New York, the special store. Official store. Oh, official store. You see. That is cool, isn't it? Again, a New York exclusive. I tell you something. I tell you something. That is one thing they've done is they have really kept the store exclusive for the items they sell. A lot of it is. <gasps> Mon. The slider charms. Oh my god. Do me a favour. Put them in your bag. Right, not for me, Janice. But if you're paying for them, wouldn't it be in your bag? Sorry, my bag, I meant. That's my bag, Karen. Oh, it's your bag, Karen. Oh, hang on. What's, is that better, that one? Yeah, that one looks more real. Where's the, where the, you, can, you can make them out. Hang on, let me check. Janice would love those. I've never seen them before either, so. Oh, you got the t-shirt there as well, look. Oh, I love these. As I said, do you think they'll mind if I um, pinch one and uh, hide it in my bag? Oh yeah, I don't need that one. Oh, uh, extra large I think was the only one, wasn't it? Or large. Oh yes, right at the back, Mum. Uh, extra large, yeah. Thank you, baby. So they have got items here that are available elsewhere, but then there are other items then that aren't. And I think a lot of the items are only exclusive to the New York shop and I think that's a brilliant idea because it gets people to the shop. I'd love it if you could buy them online 
but uh, yeah, it doesn't work out that way, sadly. So then we have these amazing books. These look like the real books and they're just, they actually move. They're actually kind of flapping their pages. Oh, it's the top I've wanted for about a year. Oh my God, look at my back. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. It is. That's the thing. I'm not doing that. I'm not picking up like everything. I've got that book. It's lovely. It's a proper nice in-depth version of it. Oh wow, they've got the prints from the Harry Potter books. What I love is if you want to introduce the younger generation to Harry Potter through the books rather than the films, these illustrated books by Jim Kay are the most amazing way of doing so because they're so colourful, they're so eye-catching and they're just so in-depth and it makes kids excited about getting them, about going through the books and reading the books. And it might be a nice way for children to get started by reading themselves because the pages and the books are so kind of big. What I mean about these books is they are really big, but when you look at how they're done, there's not that much writing on one page. And so for somebody like a younger, like the younger generation who really want to try and introduce to these books and the movies, it's lovely for them to kind of maybe do a couple of pages at a time because it's such a big picture with a small amount of writing. And I'm dyslexic, so for me, this is perfect. I mean, it is just brilliant. The writing is in columns, so it's much easier to read. And it's just, the, the, the illustrations alone are incredible. Jim Kay's work is amazing, and I've met him, he's such a sweetheart. But this, these books, highly recommend for younger generations with the Harry Potter lot. These prints are beautiful. They got chocolate frog cards, they've got these books. I do actually, I did notice that here we have these new ones. Quidditch Through the Ages, again, a New York exclusive to the shop. So I think that's a really, really good thing. I like this. They're only small and they're $12.99. But they're really, really beautiful and exclusive at New York. So that's really nice that they've got those. I like them very much. Here we got like a Yule Ball section. Obviously they released this in the UK and just before Christmas Day they went and they became discontinued. So I was very disappointed because I didn't get everything I wanted. But they do have, they still have the Yule Ball tops here in New York which you cannot get online. They are beautiful and I've got to say I really am loving those Yule Ball socks as well. I like the blanket too, but I've got no reason to have the blanket. It's really, really pretty. And these are $35, so it's not very big either. It's quite small, so it's very, very lovely. But I don't know, I think that's for some real slight dedicated person, I think, for the Yule Ball lot. We are at the Mina Lima shop. I love that they have an entire Mina Lima section in the Harry Potter shop. This just makes it so magical, I love it. We've been in once to check if there's a print in there. There is not, and they are sold out, I'm afraid. But I absolutely, you know me, I'm a massive Mina Lima fan. I've got a whole downstairs bathroom dedicated to Mina Lima. They are now all over the world. I'm so proud of them, because I'm actually friends with Mirafora and Eduardo, and I'm so proud of the both of them for doing so spectacularly in what they do. I mean, this you can tell they love what they do by the sheer beauty of their work. Oh, I love those. It's such a shame that prints out of stock. It is beautiful. Sorry, right, going down. That's okay, sweetheart. That's okay. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. 
the ceiling in London for me for Mina Lima is like this and it's all sparkly it's really beautiful I really love how they've decked this out and it's so similar to the one in, in uh, London as well I have this wrapping paper I'm still waiting to put it up I have it and I haven't done it yet I'm not doing it myself because I'll end up making a hell of a mess If you can't get to London yet, you can get to New York's Mina Lima. I highly recommend it. Oh, look at that print. The Black Family Tapestry. That is stunning. This acceptance letter is actually um, written by Mirafora Mina by hand. And in the UK, they started off being sold for £1,500 and now they're actually sold for £2,500. The amazing thing is my friend Maria York's actually got one. And um, when she heard it was being written for Maria, she actually stopped what she was doing while she was working on Fantastic Beasts and went and did it for her as, uh, as they are very, very close. And it was just really, really lovely that they did that. So this is amazing. It's Japanese silk, the boxes. And then these are actually written by hand by Mirafora, who wrote the original acceptance letter. And the lovely thing is that she's actually been able to copyright her handwriting now, which is amazing because it is just so beautiful. It is really lovely seeing it in the shop, mind. The fact that it is just so special. Oh, if only I won the lottery, honestly. They've got some new uh, Secrets of Dumbledore prints as well. They've got the Walk of the Chill in there, the main print. That's a premium print. It's about $300, I think, $50, maybe $400 for that in the US. I love these hands. They seriously need to sell these hands because I just want loads of them. These are all like the houses, which I think is great. I think it's the houses. Oh, the wrapping paper. Now, there's a little kind of cheat, actually. If you can't afford to buy the prints, I have done a video on it, so I'll put the link above. If you can't afford to buy the prints, because they are very expensive, the cards that they do, are they're at £3.50, or $5 here, they say, but in the UK, they're about £3.50. These are, is it lithograph pictures? So they move. And the amazing thing is, is you can put these in a stunning frame, a beautiful, glorious frame, and they will look like a mini version of the actual premium prints because their pictures are outstanding. Oh, look at how beautiful that print is from Prisoner of Azkaban. They released a load of them for the first couple of films. I've got the first three prints from Philosopher's Stone, but then they were so expensive I had to stop um, collecting them. This writing set as well, I have bought it, I just never used it, because I really like it and don't really want to ruin it. These are the cards I mean, so if you wanted to find a really nice print that they did as a card, this is one of my favorites, this one here. Put it in a really lovely frame, and, and frame it, you know, you could put multiple in a frame, it would just look really beautiful, and it saves you a fortune, including the Quibbler one up here, which is foiled. And then we've got some more over here as well. $5 is amazing, it's a different price to pay, such a brilliant price to pay for something so magical. When you're on a tight budget anyway. Charms aroma candles, look at that. We come to the jewelry section. I have left this till last just because it is so dangerous. Oh, I want it all. That is beautiful. Look at the little charm. It's so pretty. Oh, I've got that one. It's hard to like not be in the light here, but look at that, right? This one here, this little kind of beauty right there, right? That is stunning. Just look at the photographs I took of mine. It is absolutely glorious. I've got to say though, that diadem looks slightly bigger than the one I've got. Hmm, interesting. The, the uh, flying key looks remarkable here. It's so sparkly. I've got that as well. These are blooming good clean though because mine's gone quite tarnished. We've got some Noble Collection items over here. 
proud Nobel collection items. Look at that sparkly diadem right there. Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, this is where I feel at home with Nobel collection stuff. I love these magical creatures. I haven't got the whole set. I've got five missing. I really need to fill that in before they stop selling them. We've got a an original prop here, authentic prop from the Goblet of Fire. Some more jewellery up there, all sparkly. There's the Dumbledore's Army wand. I do have this set. It's still in the attic. I still haven't found where to put it because it is quite heavy. <gasps> no! Oh, that's cool. If I could have anything, it would be this. <laughs> it's a jewellery cabinet. That's cool. Carla's got it. Oh my god. Apparently it weighs an absolute ton. Oh. Look at that. By Pottery Barn Teen. It is just exquisite and something, if anybody ever wants to send this to me, please feel free to do so. <laughs> I love that. Free standard shipping available for Mira Verised because it weighs a ton, um, but it's within the US. So I totally get where you're coming from. One day I will own it or at least make one. I don't know, but I want one. And then we got the beautiful Nimbus 2001 and the Sword of Gryffindor as well, right there. Noble collection, I love you. Look at that Swarovski headwig. Oh my god, look how beautiful she is and the sorting hat. Oh, they are so pretty. I have never seen those, they are so odd. But cute got some gorgeous they are Alex is it Alex Alex and Annie I knew I recognized them Alex and Annie bracelets there and these are all Alex and Annie as well they are beautiful they don't sell all of these in the UK unfortunately so if you need them and you want them, get to the shop and get them yourself. They are beautiful. So we got the personalization. Thank you, Monica, for telling me. You can get your ones personalized as well, which I think is brilliant. I'm not sure if it has, if you have to pay. I don't know. Yeah, I just noticed that. We got another authentic prop from Harry Potter. Oh, they do this in the, the one over the studio as well. I have a key ring of it. It is brilliant. You can get your letter from Hogwarts as well, which is a brilliant way of finally getting your owl to deliver your letter saying that you are then accepted to Hogwarts. So you can get your tops. I've got McLean on the written on the back of my Ravenclaw top. You can have your robes. Put music over it, yeah. I've got robes. We've got robes. We have tops. We have ties. We have gloves and hats. Everything your heart desires here. Honestly, there is so much at the shop. So good. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, hang on. Oh, my God. We have... Charmed aroma candles! More charmed aroma candles! No, they've got to stop showing me charmed aroma candles. I just want everything! They're so pretty! I do like this honey jinx top, but it was pink just wouldn't look right on me. No. No. It is stunning because I would wear it as a pajama top. Lovely makeup. I must admit, I've always been a fan of their makeup. It does work really, really well. And I still use those Deathly Hallows brushes as well as my makeup brushes. Oh yeah, go on then. 
I bet you guys didn't notice that around these stairs is all the ones. So you've got Queenie's wand there, then you've got Tina's, then you can see Newt's Commanders, Dumbledore's, Harry's, Hermione's, Ron's, I'm not sure who's behind there, and then you've got Tina's again, Newt's, Dumbledore's, Harry's, Hermione's and Ron's. And as well, that moves. That actually closes and opens up again. I saw it do it earlier, but I don't know if it does, how often it does it. How gorgeous is that? It does move around as well, and it's got quotes from the books around the base. That is so beautiful, isn't it? I have had the most amazing time here at the Harry Potter shop. This place is incredible. There's so many items here that you cannot get anywhere else. I think it's it's definitely worth the trip. I never in a million years thought I would actually get to come here. And yet, thanks to my baby girl bringing me as a tree. I mean, come on now. <laughs> wow. Um, but if you get a chance to come, there's a load here that isn't actually available online. There's a lot of exclusive items. And I think that's really good because it's bringing people to the shop. It's bringing people to the store. The virtual experiences, both of them are outstanding. But definitely, if you need to pick between the two, Chaos at Hogwarts is the one that needs to be beaten because it was outstandingly amazing. It was so good, wasn't it? Monica's put up with me for the entire morning. I'm, I'm so like... hungry. <laughs> I want to go to bed. <laughs> and I'm just done. Oh, bless her. She's worked so hard helping me. She's such a sweet. I've met so many people today, including the manager of the store. There was Erin. It was such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for coming and saying hello to me. This has just been amazing, isn't it? Have you enjoyed yourself? I have. Now I'm ready to go. <laughs> She's like, Mum, shut up. We're, there is more to do. We're going to come back on Sunday. Going to come back on Sunday, get more stuff done. So until next time, take care. I love you guys. I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>